I begged you not to drink from the well. Why could you not have listened? Solus. You gave yourself into the service of an ancient elven god! What does that mean exactly? You are Mithal's creature now. Everything you do, whether you know it or not, will be for her. You have given up a part of yourself. You don't even believe in the ancient elven gods. I don't believe they were gods, no, but, but I believe that they existed. Something existed to start the legends. If not gods, then mages. Or spirits. Or something we've never seen. And you are bound to one of them now. I suppose it is better you have the power than Corypheus. Which leads to the next logical question. What will you do with the power of the well once Corypheus is dead? I'll use whatever power I have to undo the chaos that Corypheus and his allies have caused. You would put things back the way they were before? Yes. I mean, not exactly. I know what you mean. Thank you. For what? You have not been what I expected, Inquisitor. You have... impressed me. You honor the past and work to recover what was lost, even if the cost is high. I respect that. And I am indebted to you for the reminder. You're being grim and fatalistic in the hope of getting me into bed, aren't you? I am grim and fatalistic. Getting you into bed is just an enjoyable side benefit. Come with me, Vanan. The veil is thin here. Can you feel it on your skin, tingling? I was trying to determine some way to show you what you mean to me. That's not necessary, Solus. You're my... That is the question, is it not? For now, the best gift I can offer is the truth. You are unique. In all Thedas, I never expected to find someone who could draw my attention from the Fade. You have become important to me. More important than I could have imagined. As you are to me. Then what I must tell you... The truth. Your face. The Valisleen. In my journeys in the Fade, I have seen things. I have discovered what those marks mean. They honor the Elven Gods. No. They are slave markings. Or at least they were in the time of ancient Alathan. My clan's keeper said they honored the gods. These are their symbols. Yes, that's right. A noble would mark his slaves to honor the god he worshipped. After Alathan fell, the Dalish forgot. So this is... what? Just one more thing the Dalish got wrong? I'm sorry. We try to preserve our culture, and this is what we keep? Relics of a time when we were no better than Tevinter. Don't say that. For all they got wrong, the Dalish did one thing right. They made you. I didn't tell you this to hurt you. If you like, I know a spell. I can remove the Valisleen. If what you're saying is true... It is. Then... My people vowed never to submit to slavery. I'm so sorry for causing you pain. It was selfish of me. I look at you and I see what you truly are. And you deserve better than what those cruel marks represent. Then cast your spell. Take the Valisleen away. Sit.
Palasa Malarevas. You are free. So beautiful. And I am sorry. I distracted you from your duty. It will never happen again. Please, Vanan. Solus, don't leave me. Not now. I love you. You have a rare and marvelous spirit. In another world. Why not this one? I can't. I'm sorry. Inquisitor, how may I help you prepare for our final battle? I'd like to discuss what happened before, Solus. I'm afraid that wouldn't be appropriate at this time. We must focus on what truly matters. Harden your heart to a cutting edge, and put that pain to good use against Corypheus. It would help me if you could explain why. The answers would only lead to more questions. An emotional entanglement that would benefit neither of us. The blame is mine, not yours. It was irresponsible and selfish of me. Let that be enough. Will you talk to me when we are finished with Corypheus? If we are both still alive afterward, then I promise you, everything will be made clear. Let me know if I can be of any more help in planning our final fight. <laughs> Not like this! I have walked the halls of the Golden City, crossed the ages! Do not, ancient ones, I beseech you! If you exist, if you ever truly existed, aid me now! Solus? The orb. I know you wanted the orb saved. I'm so sorry. It is not your fault. There's more, isn't there? It was not supposed to happen this way. No matter what comes, I want you to know that what we had was real. Inquisitor! Are you alive?
Then it's over. How lovely. And the sky is healed, healthy, whole. There's just that left to remember. Looks that way. What do we do now? We go back to Skyhold. A moment, my lady. My agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. I just don't understand. He didn't even say goodbye. The two of you were close. Perhaps he had no choice. He might return at any moment. Maybe. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. As the saying goes, to the victor go the spoils. They see more than victory. Previously, you were an upstart, a Dalish elf leading a band of rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature. The ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. Ebesit kata, etwa ost. Maras kata! Your forces have failed. Leave now and tell the Canari to trouble me no further.
less. should give us more time. I suspect you have questions. How were you able to control the anchor? In the same way as when I stopped it from killing you at Haven. Although I am stronger now, the mark you bear was bestowed upon you by the orb of Fen Harel. My orb. Your Fen Harel? I was soulless first. Fen Harel came later. An insult I took as a badge of pride. The Dread Wolf inspired hope in my friends, and fear in my enemies. Not unlike Inquisitor, I suppose. And now you know. What is the old Danish curse? May the Dread Wolf take you? Maharal Lassa! Only by omission. Malasa Banar Gilana! What would you have had me say? That I was the great adversary in your people's mythology? I would have had you trust me! I sought to set my people free from slavery to would-be gods. I broke the chains of all who wished to join me. The false gods called me Fen Harel, and when they finally went too far, I formed the veil and banished them forever. Thus I freed the elven people and in so doing, destroyed their world. Uh, how did creating the veil destroy the world? You saw the remains of Viadathara. The library was intrinsically tied to the Fade, and the veil destroyed it. There were countless other marbles, all dependent on the presence of the Fade, all destroyed. Your legends are half right. We were immortal. It was not the arrival of humans that caused us to begin aging. It was me. The Veil took everything from the Elves. Even themselves. That's the past. What about the future? I lay in dark and dreaming sleep while countless wars and ages passed. I woke still weak a year before I joined you. My people fell for what I did to strike the Evanuris down. But still, some hope remains for restoration. I will save the Elven people, even if it means this world must die. Why does this world have to die for the Elves to return? A good question, but not one I will answer. You have always shown a thoughtfulness I respected. It would be too easy to tell you too much. I am not Corypheus. I take no joy in this, but the return of my people means the end of yours. It is my fight. You should be more concerned about the Inquisition your Inquisition. In stopping the Dragon's Breath, you have prevented an invasion by Canari forces. With luck, they will return their focus to Devinta. That should give you a few years of relative peace. What's wrong with the Inquisition? You created a powerful organization, and now it suffers the inevitable fate of such. Betrayal and corruption. It's not that simple. Do you know how I discovered the Canari plot? The plot I disrupted by leading them to your doorstep? The Canari spies in the Inquisition tripped over my spies in the Inquisition. The Elven Guard who led you to the Canari body? Who intercepted the servant with the Gatlock barrel? Mine. Why bother disrupting the Canari plot if you're going to destroy the world regardless? You have shown me that there is value in this world, Inquisitor. I take no joy in what I must do. Until that day comes, I would see those recovering from the breach free of the Kuhn. Why? Because I am not a monster. If they must die, I would rather they die in comfort. In any event, it is done. I guess we owe you for that one too. I hope it gives your people some final peace. The Kunari said the Inquisition was unknowingly working for agents of Fen Harel. I gave no orders. You led us to Skyhold. Corypheus should have died unlocking my orb. When he survived, my plans were thrown into chaos. When you survived, 
I saw the Inquisition as the best hope this world had of stopping him. And you needed a home. Hence, Skyhold. You gave your orb to Corypheus? Not directly. My agents allowed the Venatori to locate it. The orb had built up magical energy while I lay unconscious for millennia. I was not powerful enough to open it. The plan was for Corypheus to unlock it, and for the resulting explosion to kill him. Then I would claim the orb. I did not foresee a Devinta Magister having learned the secret of effective immortality. What would have happened if Corypheus had died, and you'd recovered the orb? I would have entered the Fade using the mark you now bear. Then I would have torn down the veil. As this world burned in the raw chaos, I would have restored the world of my time. The world of the Elves. If you destroyed the veil, wouldn't the False Gods be freed? I had plans. I never thought of you as someone who would do that, Solus. Thank you. You must understand. I awoke in a world where the Veil had blocked most people's conscious connection to the Fade. It was like walking through a world of tranquil. We aren't even people to you. Not at first. You showed me that I was wrong. Again. That does not make what must come next any easier. Whatever your reasons, we couldn't have defeated Corypheus without you. Your doubts are misplaced. Everything you accomplished, you earned. There's still the matter of the Anchor. It's getting worse. I know, Venan. And we are running out of time. <laughs> The Mark will eventually kill you. Drawing you here gave me the chance to save you. At least for now. Solus, Barlak Bir Suladin. I wish it could, Venom. <laughs> My love. Never forget you. Three, something must be done, but we cannot lose the Inquisition now. We stand on the brink of war with the Canari. Yes, because this Solas provoked them in the first place. We apologize for not informing the summit beforehand. We were concerned. Of course you were! The Kunari spies were inside your organization! Without our organization, none of us would be here to complain. <sighs> no one has forgotten what you have done. But Corypheus is two years dead. If the Inquisition is to continue, it must do so as a legitimate organization, not a glorified mercenary band. Inquisitor. You all know what this is? A writ. From Divine Justinia authorizing the formation of the Inquisition. We pledge to close the breach, find those responsible, and restore order, with or without anyone's approval. The Inquisition saved the people of Ferelden when you couldn't. We are not disbanding. And we are certainly not submitting to an empress who only sits on her throne because we kept her there. There's worse coming than anything you've yet seen. So we'll play nice. We'll bow. But not to you. The Inquisition will act as Divine Victoria's personal honor guard. Answering directly to her, we will transition from a military force into a peacekeeping organization. My own adventuring days may be done. But the Inquisition, and its mission, will continue.
My agents have found nothing. With the Illuvians, he could be anywhere. Maintaining the Inquisition, even as a peacekeeping force, leaves us vulnerable to agents of the Dread Wolf. But also gives us the strength to respond. <sighs> we will need to be careful. Solus knows everything about us. Who we are, how we work, our strengths, and weaknesses. Then we find people he doesn't know. We will save our friend from himself, if we can. <laughs>